Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakwal Kodash. I want to give double honors and to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that were well. And peace, blessings, and salutation to the elect scattered abroad. It's your brother Yohanathan coming with, you know, another lesson, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Um, you know, the lesson won't be too long, uh, you know, Lord willing, the lesson won't be too long, you know, just flowing through the spirit and, you know, something that was just, you know, on my mind and watching, you know, another, um, another brother's video earlier is the, you know, the no excuse when, um, when Yahweh Shah, you know, comes with his chariots and his angels to come destroy Babylon the Great, so, you know, so-called America, you know, you people will have no excuse, you know, particularly, you know, you, you Jakes, I know, um, you know, even though we are the bottom pole, you know, even though they have us, you know, we are so prisoners, even though, you know, we aren't slaves and chains anymore, we're slaves in our brain because we've been so indoctrinated to, you know, need Esau, you know, to do, you know, think that they're going to do things for us, you know, even though it's the Heavenly Father that allows them to do this. But, you know, you know, Jake's out here, you know, your two thirds, you know, aren't going to have no excuse. But back to what I was saying, um, back to what I was saying, uh, um, you know, we have, you know, Jake's voting, thinking that a white man, you know, back then, even though, you know, they had us in bond, you know, even though they was, you know, treating us the way they was. And, you know, you can't forget who your enemy is, even though, you know, times pass and you think that you got a few, you know, law. I mean, you got a few, you know, things that, you know, you're more liberally to do, but you can't forget who your adversary, you know. You know who your enemy is so um you know there's gonna be no excuse in the day of judgment and then you see that you know every you see that every day you know some are holding on to you know christianity which the you know the elders and the brothers of great millstone have broken that down to a t to show you that uh christianity is you know baloney you know it's, it's bullshit excuse my friends and then you know you have some you know you have some that's just you know living in their lust instead of hearkening to the word of you know this gospel this truth you know you want to do what you want to do you know you think you can save yourself you know all man's my you know one of my favorite you know verses is in proverbs you know all man's goings are the lord so, you know, and it's another thing I heard from a brother. You want to you wanna make the most high laugh. Tell him what, you know, you're going to do. But, you know, not to digress, you know. You know, most of, most of, you know, most of the jakes have been marked already. Because, you know, when you go on the highways and byways. And, you know, the brothers are, you know, preaching the word. Prophesying the word. And you walk right past. Just thinking that, you know. This Esau's kingdom is going to um, last forever. You know, you're being marked. You know, when the brothers is telling you or, you know, the few that have, you know, walking out of this truth for whatever, you know, you've been marked. You're going to be destroyed. But, you know, um, especially with me being a little, you know, just being younger in this so, you know, so-called society, I see where the state of Jake is at. You know, I see, um, I see, uh, you know, the mindset of Jake, you know, they don't want to, you know, it's so, so, you know, it's Christianity baloney, you know, tells you come as you are, but you can't come to the heavenly father in, in this state you guys are in eating, you know, uh, unlawful food, you still smoking, defiling your temple, defiling your body defiling your temple the most high isn't going to take you like that so what, what needs to happen you, you you need to be you know destroyed you know and it's going to be 
it's not gonna be you know it's gonna be a res a, a respect like a respectful a respectful judgment, a lawful judgment, because you wanted to partake in Esau's kingdom. You wanted to do what you wanted to do, instead of and you know even though you know, um, you know Lord willing you know I'm a part of that number, but you know. You know the, the 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 people that didn't want to hearken into the word, the people that wanted to live how they wanted to do, they're gonna when the kingdom is first, when the kingdom of earth is first established, you're gonna walk with your head down. You're gonna feel ashamed, you know, because when you had the brothers coming out, you you scoffed at the brothers. You know you wanted to do what you, you know you wanted to do what you wanted to do. You thought that this was going to, you know, was going to, you thought this kingdom, Esau's kingdom, was going to rule forever. So, you know, that was just on my spirit, you know, this whole, you know, so-called election, you know, you know, this BS election is going on. And then you see the state, you know, Jake, you know, wanting, you know, Trump or Biden, like, come on, man. It's, it, it, it's you know you know you know they're so wise for things that don't matter um uh, uh, uh Jeremiah chapter Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 22 for my people is foolish they have not known me they are Scottish children they have none understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge you know most of you know most of the you know most of the people know that but you know they're you know people two-thirds Jace was foolish they don't know the most high they Scottish children they don't have no understanding to do wise, you know, but to do evil, you know, to 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 think in the world, in the world, they have all the knowledge in the world. But, you know, the scripture, you know, the most high will, you know, if you show interest in sincerity and truth, the most high will, you know, he will we will work with you. If you hearken to this word in full sincerity, the most high will work with you. But, you know, they're wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Not to digress, but um, just, that was just, you know, flowing through, you know, the spirit. You know, yeah, how about from the outside? You know, I could bring out this lesson, you know, Lord willing, it's edifying. But um, you just see, you know, the state of Jake, you know, you know, even like sometimes your family members, you tell them. You know, and, and, and they don't want to hear this. They don't want to hear this. They want to hear that, you know, Trump or Biden, you know, whichever, you know, they're going to be elected or they want to, you know, they want the white man to help them. Instead of coming back to your your your, your heritage and the truth in the scripture, you want the white man, you know. So, you know, our people, you know, our people, um, you know, most of them have to be, you know, destroyed rightfully because, you know, they're wicked. You know, they're wicked. You know, even though you tell people, you know, you tell them, you know, in Leviticus, you know, you're not supposed to eat, you know, uh, unlawful foods until the most high. You know, they so proclaim that they love, you know, you know, so-called Jesus, which is not his name. His name is Yahweh Shai. You know, they, they, they say that they love him. You know, but because they don't know him, they don't know the Most High. You know, they think that he's just a a a a loving, you know, a loving power. They don't know the you know the works that you know, the works that he could do when you disobey. You know his law and his commandments. So you know our people, you know, have to be you know some of our people, you know, unless they re repent and tr tr like true. And, uh, truthfully and sincere, you know, they have to be destroyed rightfully.
you know. So I just wanted to come with you know, some precepts. So welcome. Just wanted to come with some precepts. Uh, Lord willing, this video is uh, edifying. First precept I had was Matthew 24, verse 14. And it reads, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all of the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So, you know, this gospel, this truth is going to the four corners of the earth. It's being preached, you know. And then until the whole, you know, until the elect have been sealed and this truth has been pushed to the four corners of the earth, which the whole nation has heard, then the end shall come. You know, so as brothers, we got to be patient, keep doing this work, you know, in, in, in sincerity, you know, keep doing this work. And, you know, we're going to get you know, what's, you know, rightfully coming, you know, we're going to go through trials and tribulations, but, you know, we have to, you know, keep, you know, doing this work until it's preached, until, you know, for the whole world to be a witness, until all nations, and then the end shall come, but, you know, you know that's just telling you that, you know, everyone, um, you know, everyone has heard of this truth, everyone has heard somewhere, somewhere, or some, you know, somehow that they are Israelite, you know, you know, the true elect or the true man of the Lord or, you know, true, you know, few women, you know, they're going to do the extra digging. They're going to dig, you know, and that's and that's all, you know, the most high sees that you want. You know, he, he sees that you want to know he's going to work with you. But what do, you know, our people do? They just disregard Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shah, you know, they disregard him. Um, next. One I had was Second Corinthians thirteen and eight. Uh, Second Corinthians thirteen verse eight, and it reads, "For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth." You know, so we can't do. You know, so when you, you know, when you uh, devils, you know, try to. Um, you know, when you try to, you know, uh, you know, lie on our name or demonize us or do whatever, you know, y'all devils do, you know, you're only making us, uh, you, you're only making it, you know, better for us because you put us on that, you know, you put us on that stage for whichever, you know, whichever, um, maybe the, you know, elect or, you know, true person, uh, men or woman of the Lord, if they see it. You know, they could see and do more research because, you know, you gave, you know, the most high, you know, gave us the Internet, you know, allowed us to, you know, for this truth to be posted on the Internet. YouTube, you know, I know some brothers before was on Daily Motion. So, you know, even though you try to uh, take down some brothers channels, even though my channel been getting strikes, you know, you can't do nothing for, uh, you can't do nothing against the truth. This truth will be pushed into all four corners of the earth. And then the end shall come. Um, last precept I had was uh, Romans. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1, verse 18. And it reads, For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from the heaven against all ungodliness and un unrighteousness of men. Who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them, for the Most High has showed it unto them. So, you know, the Most High has showed, you know, the truth unto, you know, the prophets, the men of the Lord. Uh, verse 20, for the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clean, clearly seen being understood by the things that are made even his internal power and the godhead so that they are without excuse you know so when the men of the lord you know we're going on the highways and byways you know preaching you know this word which is as you know what's the most high asks us to do 
when we go, you know, downtown or whichever, you know, wherever the brother's at, you know, y'all walking past, y'all not hearkening to the war. You want to, you know, do what you want to do in Babylon, you know, uh, you being marked. You're going to, you're not going to have, no one will have an excuse when the Most High comes back, you know, and the Most High it, uh, is going to come like a thief in the night. Uh, so, you know, no one is going to have an excuse when, when your house shot comes back because, you know, the, everyone is, has heard the word, you know, if you hearken, if you hearken to the word, then, you know, if you did, you know, if you do what you were supposed to do, then you should not have, you know, no, no worries. You know, us brother, you know, us men of the Lord, you know, we should be, you know, studying and you know showing ourselves you know studying to show ourselves approved because you know when the most high comes back we want to be confident that you know we were doing the things that the most high asked us to do um we were doing the things that the most high asked us to do you know we should have uh confidence we should have confidence but um Um, Slocum, I was getting the, the, the verse. No. Chapter five. Chapter five. And it says, uh, First Thessalonians chapter five, verse one, and it reads, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you for themselves that know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, so cometh as a thief in the night. So, you know, uh, you know, some brothers or, you know, some of y'all pushing this off like, um, well, I'll do this tomorrow. Uh, I, I, I'll do this next week. I'll do this next month. You know, the Lord was going to come in a thief of the night. No, no man, you know, is going to know, you know, no, no one's going to know that date. So, you know, seek the Lord while he may be found. So, uh, you know, why you still have the chance, because it's going to be a famine of this word very soon. But, you know, this is was just a lesson, a little lesson I had in the spirit. Uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua just wanted to bring out. Lord willing, it was edifying. But, um, you know, back to Romans, you know, uh, it's not going to be no excuse. You know, the men of the Lord have been, you know, the apostles been, you know, enduring, you know, for 30 years plus. Many other brothers, you know, they're respected, you know, time. So, you know, this word has been brought out and if you just you know disregarded it because you thought you know your job or you know whatever you had going on in your your so-called life was more important than hearkening to this word then you know you you have been marked and you need to repent you know so that was just you know my lesson flowing through the spirit you know lord willing this video is edifying i want to give all praise going on the two yahweh bahashem yahweh bahashem Rakwakwadash, want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, Daru well, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect scattered abroad. Shalom.